We haven't had many first-person shooters on the Vita. Killzone Mercenaries is brilliant, but there haven't been many other good first-person shooters for Vita fans to play. That's one of the reasons I was excited about Super Destronaut Land Wars. A new FPS is an exciting prospect, but it's also a follow-up to Super Destronaut, which I loved. The original was a fast-paced Space Invader type shooter that was extremely fun and addictive and had me chasing the high scores on the leaderboards for weeks. Land Wars is good, but it's missing a few things that would have made it great. As you start the game, you are dropped on a map with a simple aim to survive for as long as possible and kill as many enemies as possible to rack up a high score. You start off with a machine gun and as you kill enemies you collect coins and when you have enough money you can buy new guns like a laser rifle, grenade launcher or a rocket launcher. The new guns are clearly more effective than the starting machine gun and especially the rocket launcher and grenade launcher where the area blast can take out enemies even without a direct hit. Once you've bought all the guns in a level however, there's no incentive to collect money and it wasn't actually that hard to get all the guns. Enemies spawn around the map, seemingly at random. There were times when I didn't know where the remaining enemy was, so I had to search for it. This is my first negative about the game. The map isn't that big, but it kills the pace to have to go around searching for the next enemy. The first time I played arcade on classic mode, I had a few minutes before I had to run out of the house, so I thought let's just give it a go. I found classic mode so easy that after 15 minutes, I thought I was running late so I just let myself die. One of the first Super Destronaut's strengths was that each go was really quick, and action didn't let up. In Land Wars it felt too easy. There is a hardcore mode though, which is tougher. There are more enemies and they are more aggressive, but it still felt too easy. You gain health back when you kill an enemy, so it was easy to survive on and on. Probably the biggest miss for this game is lack of online leaderboards. Online leaderboards can really add to a game's longevity by giving players a reason to continue playing and chasing the high score. Land Wars doesn't have an online leaderboard, so once you finish the game and get the platinum, there doesn't feel like any reason to continue. This is a real shame, because I kept playing Super Destronaut because I wanted to get into the top of the leaderboards. Not to show off, but I was number one in the world at one point. This is a big miss from Land Wars. The gameplay is fine. It's a competent first person shooter. Maybe a little basic, but it's still fun. Shooting feels good and you can adjust the aim sensitivity if you feel it's a bit slow. You can jump, but I think it needed a run button, because walking from one end of the map to another, looking for that last enemy felt slow. There are different modes to play through beyond classic and hardcore, and there are 30 challenges to beat. These did add some longevity to the game, but the map was the same throughout and it still felt too easy. Not having regenerating health for one of the modes did help it make it more challenging, which was a plus, but as this was a Rattlemaker game, the Platinum was, as usual, very easy to attain, so it put me off from playing more. Another thing that worked so well in Super Destronaut was that each go was short, just a few minutes long. It made me feel like having just another go, and I found it so addictive. With Land Wars, each go, even on hardcore, could take 15 minutes. It just felt too long. I found myself getting a bit bored, especially once I'd bought all the guns. I wish enemies spawned more and faster all over the place and moved around more. This game has a lot going for it with its great neon stylish graphics and solid gameplay, but it's just too easy. I know developing a game is difficult, and I'm sure when you're busy in development it may be hard to anticipate the reaction of players, and it may be hard to program some of these elements in, but I think if the game was harder, movement was faster, and there were online leaderboards, then this would have been a great game. As it is, it's a good game, but may not hold your attention for long. So guys, are you planning to pick up Super Destronaut Land Wars? And if you played it already, what did you think? Leave a comment below, and as always, thanks for watching.